last met on to uh, this uh, particular show but it's a very beautiful moment and i welcome you back from all over the place and all over you've been and whoever has joined us thanks for actually joining at the show actually uh, the week has been very long and uh, whoever's been at work welcome back and uh, thanks for joining at uh, the show once again and it uh, is a very week uh, there are actually a couple of things that have happened and uh, on to uh, this very show we talk on those various things various stories that have actually made rounds all over other uh, places uh, the country, uh, the district uh, where we are, and even uh, into a diaspora or abroad uh, or the outside world all over uh, the country. We'll give you the updates right here on Elkim TV. Once again, to the show, or, or, uh, I'm not alone. I've actually come along with uh, my fellow panelists already into the house, and we're going to be discussing a, a couple of things that have actually uh, happened. Meanwhile, uh, just uh, allow me to take you into a short break, and when we return, I'll be giving them an opportunity to introduce themselves for the viewers of Elkim TV, and we get into the gist of this uh, particular show. Just stay tuned and don't move away. Amchara, um, why to? Madina Education Center, Lila Madina Education Center is somero muno. Mugenya karo raho, kareli kusikiriza muno. Owe nkuo nkio nu, no hagenda kutandikira kusoma. Kaja chomwana cha yonka. Ara yonka na asoma, kani nkugenda no kusara ya bandi basat. Na waba somera hanu, Madina Education Center. Aba fee. Eh. Madina Education Center, ngo tuse yo, ola vila dana Madina. Eri, eh, yo Middle East. Na yeye somero liri wano njachibesi. Masindi kapu. Road. Madina Education Center is somewhere on the ground. They say we have a Then a boarding primary school by the nursery section. I'm in a daycare section. But in the next week, all of us are going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary section. I'm going to be going to the primary Madina Education Center Lili hamusinga guwabu sinamu Bayi tutuwa kusorora dini Na wakurisayo wakutangirwa School fees nizi soboka Okwe handi kisa kukugendo maiso Aisomero eri kusangibwa nye kibete Mairo isato kuruga masi ndi town Hamasi ndi kafo road Bate ilona special class Nye kuwata kuruhano mutwe Kumanya Hasim zero ina emu ina atano na munana asatu na iviri nkaga na muenda runi zero isatu muenda iviri kienda na ina asatu na mkaga zero emu
Yes, sir. You can simply call him uh, at the sign language interpreter. He's already with us in the house and he's a journalist at the same time. But actually, today on to uh, the site, we have uh, a number of stories that have been making rounds all over uh, the place, all over the world. And today, we, on to the site, we're actually going to talk on each and story or most of the stories that have actually made a round onto the set. Once again, I want to remind you that Reva is actually uh, there seated. You can simply get onto a YouTube, type the word okay, TV, uh, put on the bell and subscribe so that you can simply get our shows all the time that you are there. And we appreciate you one more time for always uh, staying tuned and loving our shows. Whoever keeps, uh, keeps on following the show, actually appreciate you for actually having that uh, beautiful uh, actually that beautiful interest into what we do right here on Neokim TV. Once again, as uh, before I got into the break, I told you that when I, ca I come back, I'll actually be giving my guests into the house an opportunity to introduce themselves to the viewers of Neokim TV and we proceed the show. Just a locked end. Uh, we, we actually get to know what is actually happening. Where is Uganda moving at, uh, today? Uh, meanwhile, just uh, in a moment, uh, Ms. Gwichwak, uh, you're most welcome to the set of Welcome TV. And just a word for the viewers of Welcome TV, and we proceed with the show. Uh, thank you so much, moderator, Mr. Miss. Uh, what I would like to say is to thank the management of LKM Media for this opportunity of hosting us. Uh, it's my first time to be on this show. And... Uh, I just beg my our viewers, our viewers, uh, to be on and uh, watch what we are going to be discussing. It is Thank a you. very beautiful one and actually is uh, called Yosam Gichwaki and he works with a uh, new uh, vision so you can simply get in touch with him in case you have anything. Any story that you want to run on new vision is uh, the man, uh, the boss right there. Meanwhile, on to the site as I told you that uh, I am not alone. I have Yosam Gichwaki and to my extreme right is Kangao Yeseri. You're most welcome to the, uh, on to the show and I employ just to have a, a word for the viewers of Welcome TV and we proceed with the show. Yeah, again, thank you so much, Mr. Moderator, for the introduction. As you have already mentioned, I'm Kangawa Yeseri, and my sign language interpreter in journalism. I'm freelancing, so I'm so happy to be part of this show. This week has, has had lots of stories all over the country, and both micro and macro, so we want to try and spend these few minutes looking at them, so don't go away. It is a beautiful, actually, introduction from one called Kangao Yeseri. He is a sign language interpreter. So in case you have any challenge with the sign language or you want to communicate with deaf, you can simply get in touch with uh, OKM TV. And we give you a man so that you can simply ease the communication. Whoever's actually joined the show, I actually appreciate you and say thanks for catching up on to, uh, the show right now. Uh, we're getting to uh, the gist of uh, our today's show on Neokem TV. And uh, remember that this show actually starts from the hours of 5 and moves to the hours of uh, 6 uh, immediately uh, right now as we get into the gist of the show. This week we have actually had a couple of stories that have made rounds all over uh, the world. And uh, starting, we shall start with our local stories. That is uh, what has happened in Masindi this very week. We actually saw uh, a council a meeting, oh, it's a, a council sitting. Uh, where uh, a number of resolutions uh, were made by uh, councillors on how to uh, the, uh, the district is moving. Basically, we saw we are uh, previously we had an investor called James Ventures that have been operating within Masindi uh, under the arm of uh, Masindi Municipal Council. Stories came about saying that. Uh, uh, sorry, speculations came about saying that uh, this man has been uh, operating under uh, the municipal council uh, without paying any tax. So it is, that is how it grieved uh, the, uh, the councillors. And they came out with a resolution saying that it was a co uh, they connived with uh, some officials at uh, the Masindi Municipal Council to uh, contract this uh, gentleman to start operating within the district. But on that very day uh, that the councillors had the meeting, they also had, uh, they changed the resolution and said if it was connived, this is the right time that this man has to start operating as any other businessman and also paying tax to the uh, government. Basically, so he was put, uh, they put an injunction on him, on him to stop operating uh, from a Cindy, like how he has been operating. But in case he's to operate, he should operate like any other business.
business a person and uh, still into uh, the same uh, council meeting we actually saw uh, another resolution coming for Kitabra Football Club you know it's uh, now on to the globe that Kitabra Football Club from uh, the Kabalega region is actually taking over uh, Uganda and uh, the world at large we actually saw uh, the councillors getting to a contradiction saying that uh, later on uh, on to the beginning of uh, uh, be, before uh, they had sorry uh, they had uh, a memorandum understand of understanding with Kitara uh, management where they agreed that on uh, every match that will be played at uh, Masindi Stadium uh, there should be at least 10 percent of the money that they will be collected paid as a tax to a municipal council. On this very date, we actually had uh, officials from uh, Kitara saying that no, this money is too much, but uh, still they got into disagreements whereby officials, the councillors said no, it is uh, this uh, Kitara Football Club from Hoima, when they come to play in Masindi, uh, they're supposed, or any match they host in Masindi, they're supposed to pay uh, two million on every match uh, that they play and also give uh, the councillors a token of watching these uh, matches freely. We actually get into the list and we are going to be elaborating it more with uh, the panelists that are into uh, the house. All I beg, just stay tuned. And away from there, on to this uh, very week, we see uh, at a celebrity that is, is a P. Uh, actually, Aka Omukawa um, to Z. Uh, nowadays, no, there is that uh, uh, name that is actually uh, that is actually using on stage. Uh, um, cover it, so I don't know what it means, but uh, I think the Wanyor knows it better. So that is a, is a P. Uh, this very week we saw him actually getting to uh, actually officially marrying her wife, and uh, the ceremony was uh, officiated yesterday, and that was at uh, Kabalega Resort. Kabalega Resort. Yes, if not mistaken, it was uh, yesterday. Uh, this uh, very week, we want to actually see if uh, this kind of uh, event or this kind of function or this kind of ceremony or this kind of invasion that uh, EZP has actually gotten in have actually empowered the musical industry of Gunyoro and the world at large. How is it motivating the rest that have actually not done it? It's so interesting. The party was interesting. I beg the ones that have uh, not yet done it to actually also uh, have uh, one for themselves. Meanwhile, away from there, we also have uh, the 16th round play also of uh, uh, the Coca-Cola tournament uh, at the district today we have it, it was the kicks off and we have seen a couple of teams a number of teams actually turning off for the matches and uh, the games have been played and uh, as uh, we move on into other games of the show I will actually be giving you some of uh, the updates of actually what has been happening on to the pitch uh, based on the two a few information uh, that I have forgotten and away from there uh, when I move on to uh, the national level, we see uh, that uh, yesterday uh, in the evening, uh, President His Excellency President Yawari Kaguta Museveni reshuffled his cabinet by appointing a couple of people and giving them uh, a different authorities. But away from there, uh, we actually see that uh, besides uh, appointing other ministers, uh, the president also uh, maintained some people into uh, their uh, positions like uh, we saw uh, the president maintaining his excellency jessica alupo he, who was the former uh, minister of uh, education has uh, the vice president he still remained in that uh, position and where from there we also saw robina nabanja has uh, also remaining in her position of uh, the prime minister and uh, we also looked at uh, right honorable uh, that is rebecca kadaga the former speaker of uganda also remaining in her position of the first deputy prime minister and uh, from there uh, his excellency also made some changes and what we see uh, that uh, his uh, the first son that is uh, uh muhoska in Urugava, he was also appointed as uh, the chief uh, defense force so today as we're talking uh, 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 the first son, that's uh, Mohoska in Urugava, is uh, you know is the boss of uh, the the forces. That is the army and the rest. So he's the man on top. Uh, that is uh, the position that he was uh, given yesterday. General Mohoska in Urugava. Away from there, on to our district, still on Masindi, our own. That is uh, Balam Barugahara. We saw him also being given an opposition, uh, a position of the minister, has the children and the youth affairs minister. And away from there. Uh, that is all about uh, the reshuffles uh, that the president uh, did. Uh, the number of people that have actually given different op op uh, positions and uh, 
others remaining to the same positions that they've been in. And away from there, if we move on to the other stories, we see the Hyper Kids, uh, Hyper Kids Dance Group from Uganda having been selected or nominated for the, to participate in the 19th season of the Americans Go Talent later this year. And if we get into uh, a little bit of flashback of uh, the, this uh, American Go Talent uh, Americans got talent, got talent. We see uh, that last year it was the triplets, uh, fr uh, triplets ghetto kids who actually represented Uganda in the Americans Got Talent. After uh, the show, uh, after they showcased their skills in uh, Britain's Got Talent, where they actually made some records along uh, that way there. And uh, else in the world, when we move into uh, the uh, a globe, onto the globe that is uh, elsewhere in the world, that's uh, outside uh, the country, Uganda. We see that this is a very weak uh, South Sudan announcing actually a close of all schools uh, uh, due to the effect of uh, excessive heat waves uh, that has actually uh, uh, for sitting and uh, that has actually seated and uh, taken about some lives of people. And uh, when we also move in Kenya, uh, that is in Kenya, we see that the doctors or medical personalities also are striking uh, for issues of, I think, uh, it's a uh, finance. We actually going to be talking more, more, more about uh, these stories and uh, when we, uh, we when we look into uh, this we see uh, that uh, these are some of the stories that have actually made rounds all over uh, the country and outside the country meanwhile on to the set i want to remind you once again and appreciate you our uh, viewers of welcome tv thanks for loving the show and always keeping it welcome tv the show is called agafidem week with me urban brown alongside uh, guchwaki from new vision and yes uh, yes uh, yes kangao yes sir uh, the sign language interpreter and also a journalist but a, free a freelancer at the same time meanwhile uh, those have been actually the stories that have made a wave and i want us to get into a real gist of uh, these very stories but uh, before we get into that i just uh, employ you to allow me move into a short break and when we do return we shall actually be continuing with uh, these stories getting deep into uh, the gist of this uh, particular show Stay tuned as we get back from the break. From the break, uh, that is uh, Elkim TV, uh, Gafirem Week, every single Friday from the hours of 5 to the hours of 6. We have actually been looking around and uh, navigating, seeing what is uh, actually happening to uh, the into our country, Uganda. Different news that have actually come up or covered uh, the, uh, this uh, very, very week. You know, just allow me to get now into the gist of uh, this uh, particular show. Revers joined the show. Appreciate you and thanks for catching up with us. Meanwhile, Kangao, uh, sorry, uh, uh, right, I actually give you a title of the Honorable because I'm so optimistic that any time you'll be contesting. So, uh, Honorable uh, Yosam Guchwaki from New Vision, uh, you're most welcome. How is New Vision? New Vision, we are trying. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, amid these challenges, mm -hmm. you know our economic status, mm -hmm. you know what we are going through uh, through as a country. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the climate change you are facing, the weather is changing, mm -hmm. and also other challenges. But generally, we are trying our best. That is so beautiful. Give a service. <laughs> and that yeah. is, uh, uh, is uh, sorry, Yosam Guchwaki from uh, New Vision. Also, uh, right for the Corporator Magazine. Also, for business stories. Uh, that is so beautiful. Yeah. And uh, that is him and. Uh, uh, Yosam Bichwaki, I'm so uh, you've been actually uh, down there observing what is actually happening to our district Masindi. The number of things that have gone around uh, this uh, very week, we saw the councillors in the council trying to make some adjustments on how things have been moving. We saw uh, this uh, tycoon, let me call him tycoon, uh, James Avengers, being actually put an uh, put uh, on an injunction mm -hmm. to stop operating within the district. What is your take, you see? Because uh, uh, this man has been actually operating from Masindi town, Kijura, trying to collect garbage. And I think, I see like uh, the district, uh, the sanitation had somehow improved based on how uh, the municipality was actually doing it. So what is your perception towards uh, this? Is it a good resolution that these people made to put an injunction on this man? Or that is how it's going to affect uh, the sanitation of our district? Uh, actually, I've been covering this council mm. and uh, many times mm. that issue of James Fentures has, has mm. featured 
uh, the idea of bringing James Ventures to me mm. it was a brilliant idea mm. but the problem is how it was brought mm. you know when you bring something mm. in a clandestine way mm. you have not sensitized people you are bringing something mechanically mm. uh, you, are, you are faulting the procedures mm. of course you get resistance mm. but when you get an idea mm. uh, introduce it mm. to the councillors mm. council blesses it follow the procedures mm. sensitization should be done by both the leaders and the technocrats mm. and the other stakeholders yes. i'm very optimistic that mm. this thing you wouldn't have uh, have got all these challenges mm. but the problem was uh, the problem is most mm. of our leaders want to do things mechanically mm. They put in a selfish interests. Mm. They don't want to involve other people. They don't want to bring people on board. Mm. They don't want to do sensitization. Mm. And moreover, these people here, mm. you see, use our taxpayers' money. Mm. They go in other districts mm. to benchmark, mm. to learn mm. how such a things are implemented mm. in other municipalities, mm. other cities. Mm. But I don't know what they learn. So you think this was like uh, an idea that was copied from a different district? Yes, it was copied from, I uh, think, Kasese district, Kasese municipality. Mm. It was brought here, mm. but as if uh, uh, they never mastered it well. Mm. They never understood it well, how mm. it can be implemented. Mm. But if it had been mastered well, mm. this is a very good idea. You know, the problem is mm. our municipalities, town councils cannot manage the issue of garbage. Mm. As a government why mm. because of the mega resources mm. the only issue is to privatize uh, a garbage collection mm. but privatizing a garbage collection it has followed the right procedures mm. but not doing it mechanically because mm. in actual sense uh, basing on my research i came to know that james ventures have been actually collecting these gar gar garbages from different uh, places different homes but trying to pick some money out of these people that uh, would uh, would actually uh, give out their garbage to be collected you know james so, venture mm. is uh, a private business is a private yes. partner mm. and uh, to me this idea was good because mm. these people would come mm. you pay money they take garbage mm. instead of staying you is it there mm. but when they came they concentrated so much within the town center mm. They never, uh, they don't mind about going to the suburbs, mm. to like quarters, junior mm. quarters, African quarters, mm. Kabarwana, Nyangaya, Kijura, Kirasa. They don't go there. Mm. And I want to tell you, mm. right now, when the James Venture came in, mm. all the uh, garbage collection points mm. were closed. And these people, the town dwellers, have mm. no access to James Venture because they don't go there. Mm. Do you know where the garbage is ending? No. Garbage is ending in, in, in roadsides, mm. in wetlands, mm. in lanes, mm. in people's plots. Mm. You try to move around. For me, I've been moving around these suburbs. Mm. You go to cover one. It's very true if you look yeah. at the trenches are having some garbage and the road. They are being yes. dumped alongside the, the road. Mm. They don't go there. Mm. Uh, this issue of uh, of uh, James Ventures, mm. so these leaders are distancing themselves from mm. it. But they are the people who brought him. It is true. So they are right distancing now, themselves you know, from after, him. After being brought to light, yes. people are trying to distance themselves. They are distancing from him. themselves but, uh, from him. Mm. Uh, they are saying we don't know him. And yet they are the same people that who brought him. brought him, even proposed the rates. Mm. They brought they proposed the rates, mm. brought those rates in the council for blessing. Mm. But now they are saying we don't know this man. Mm. Actually, uh, in the last council, they did not put an injunction on him. Mm. But for, for them, they said. Uh, is not sure. part of them because they, they have no formal mm. uh, formal agreement mm. with him. Mm. What he's doing is doing it privately. But if he's doing it privately, mm. are they leaving him mm. uh, to extort money anyhow from people without any guidance, mm. no guidelines? Mm. There is no uh, proposed rates mm. which are favorable. Mm. Are they leaving him to operate anyhow? Mm. That's also another question. Yes, they have left him. Yes, he's operating within Masindi municipality. How is the council going to benefit? Mm. Is he supposed to remit tax to them mm. or not? All those are hanging questions which we are which are not answered. But they are distancing themselves from I I don't know him. It is you brought him. It mm. is uh, what I'm suspending. They are suspending uh, councillors who are against it. Mm. So 
there are so many gymnastics some, some so so, there are so many gymnastics uh, uh, but the leaders will come out with a clear position about this issue mm. because we are going to see him because uh, uh, currently mm. he's operating from the municipal structures mm. it is true it's some municipal down structure. there as you are sloping to kill us yes but they are distancing themselves from so these people are just playing around so how did he invade <laughs> so those are the issues but really yes. they should come out with a clear position mm. communicate to the people mm. and also central division and municipality mm. should go back to their role mm. of managing garbage Absolutely. but not leaving the whole task mm. to to the James James yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for that uh, beautiful submission. Now I move back to my uh, to my sign language interpreter. Kaka yes, it was again you welcome onto the site of Welcome TV. Yeah, thank you very uh, much. Uh, briefly, we've been looking at uh, James Ventures. You know, it sounded to be like an injunction after these people had denied themselves that they don't know James Ventures. Yet he has been operating from Asindi, and we're getting to know that even the premises where his offices are. Uh, structures of municipal council. That thing should be clear. It's not an injunction mm. by the left team mm. to operate his business. Business. The agreement should be between you, mm. the garbage generator, mm. and him, the collector. Okay. But there was no injunction that we have stopped him. Mm. No, he's going ahead with his it's, business. It's but the municipal says he's not part of us. We don't know him. Okay. Thank you very much for actually making it uh, more clear. So, uh, Kangao Yesedi, we actually seeing James Ventures, eh? uh, the, the, the council denying. Uh, uh, him uh, that they, they don't know James Ventures and yet he's operating from the, uh, the, the very structures of the municipal council. What do you see uh, there? Was is it that some people get some money from James Ventures so that it was it a, 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 uh, did they connive or what? Something. What is your, your view around it there? Why do they deny that they don't know James Ventures today and yet he has been operating within the areas of Masindi? People like good things, mm. but they don't like to pay the price. Mm. When you travel to some countries, mm. okay, maybe even not even countries. If mm. you, go, you travel even within Uganda, there are some cities that have have really set a very good precedence of cleanness. Mm. Now, when let me use an example of a country like Rwanda. Mm. When you travel to Rwanda, mm. you when and you you come back here, it's you rea you, you realize we are a dirty country. It is true. But also finding such, such affording such smartness mm. comes at a price, mm. and it must be paid. Mm. Now, this is a, as as Guchwaki has clearly highlighted. Mm. This is a private entity. It's like they have priv privatized it. Privatized him. As a government, mm. there are so many things that it is trying to, to, to solve, there are many problems it is trying to solve, mm. and yet as, as, as rightly Gutraki put it, mm. the resources are not enough. enough. Yes. Mm. Therefore, that's why from time to time we need an, a private hand mm. into, the, into, this, into is, different sectors, in education, mm. in, everything. in everything. But also when it comes to garbage collection, mm. personally, mm. I felt that was a brilliant idea, whoever thought of it, mm. to privatize it. Mm. And now that even at this point they have left it on the individual uh, person Persons to deal mm. with with James Ventures, mm. to me it has no problem. Mm. Those who can't afford, let them wait for the municipal council. Mm. But, but those who can, can afford, afford, let them go ahead with the man. But also the mm. other second thing that I'm also mm. uh, disturbed with a little mm. is the tug of wars mm. that has always existed. Mm at the executive level of our local government. Mm. Almost everything to pass, it must have tug of war. Tug of war. And actually, if you looked at uh, resolutions that have been always made in our council of Masindi, you know, we have actually seen fights, what people so fighting over what? Over uh, these kind of things. And you see, we actually had uh, an issue of the university recently, but all went in vain. We had the issue of the market, but all went in vain. We don't know what is actually disturbing these people. They come out with ideas, but at the end of the day, you find that they start clashing internally, and you find people losing. Yeah, actually, mm. even yeah, those examples of university, mm. of everything, even service, mm. service commission, mm. there are also serious issues there. A very, very great one. Mm. Right now, um, there are so many people mm. who are sitting in offices, but they are only acting. Mm. They are not the real people supposed to be there. Mm. So these wars, mm. they affect progress. They affect development. Yes. Now, in our town here in Masindi, mm. 
it will affect seriously the hygienity, the hygienity levels mm -hmm. of our town if they fight him. And yet, in the first place, as we've seen, mm -hmm. they had willingly lobbed him to mm -hmm. come and he give us a hand. Mm -hmm. But again, well, actually, what he's receiving elbows. What disturbs me is that uh, when these people go uh, get into uh, these council meetings and whatever to make resolutions, you find them fighting from there. But after time, when these are uh, actually their terms end, you find them coming back to the very communities that we are in, and they start experiencing the same thing that we are, the, the others are experiencing. So me, I would advise uh, the councillors and everyone that is actually watching Elkin TV right now, that in most cases and all the times that you're making resolutions in councils, endeavour to look at after five years, maybe when you are out of uh, the council, when your term has ended, you will still come back to the community and still experience uh, the mistakes that you did when you are still in council. So always let's make wise, wise, wise decisions when we get there. And the issue of James Ventures, and actually uh, the panelists have actually made it so clear, we pray that the municipal council and the division get back on table and sit with this man. Because actually the idea that should come out with was actually so brilliant. So it's something uh, so... It is not sitting with this man. Mm. It's agreeing with agreeing them. With him. Because the problem is them, but it's not them. him. It's not him. Okay. It is them to agree, give him guidelines, mm. or like this, mm. route to chat, pro, uh, propose your rates. Mm. That is all. Thank because you because if they leave it unsolved, mm. this garbage remains with us. If any disease mm. shows up, mm. it is not James Ventures who is going to fall sick. It is true. It is the local people. It is true, the local people indeed. Now, and actually that has been all of uh, James Ventures. I think the stakeholders, you can intervene and see how to adjust or what to do right now. That has been the submissions from my panelists towards uh, that, or oh, their perception towards uh, the resolution that was made uh, that day. And still moving on on to other uh, very stories that actually happened that week. I want us to be very brief on to, uh, based on the issue of the time. It's not on our side. Uh, that we saw Kitara, a football, uh, a football club, uh, whereby a, a council made a resolution saying that no, these people before uh, actually coming in, they had the memorandum of understanding uh, that was assented and they agreed that Kitara FC will be paying 10% of the money uh, that they will be doing on every match at the host at Masindi Stadium. But currently I heard that uh, the, the team from uh, Kitara uh, Football Club came about complaining that this money is much and whereby they got into disagreements, whereby the councillor said that on every match they are, they, they, they are playing, there should be two, two million, and also give a token to the councillors to go and watch these matches freely. Whereby, when I've been moving, making my survey outside there, you find people saying that, no, this is our what, our team from Bunyoro, and this money is too much. But basing to the economy and the implementation that... Uh, uh, the, the district, uh, sorry, uh, the municipal council have. What is your perception? Was it a good idea for these people to stick and say these people are supposed to pay the two million, or it wasn't a wise idea? Uh, thank you so much, mm. moderator. I'm actually the one. I'm the one who authored that mm. <laughs> small article, which has been making rounds. I'm telling you, media. it is true. <laughs> I'm the one who authored it because mm. I attended mm. the council. It was actually a nice work, and I observed it very well as they were discussing. Mm. Uh, uh, asking for that money mm. could be good, mm. but how much money? Mm. Much money is collected on that stadium, but mm. how much money is put back mm. to the stadium is the question. It is the question because uh, actually this uh, money they collect, mm. where does it go? Mm. I've because seen. Mm. municipality, Masini municipality, mm. is supposed to be maintaining that stadium, renovating it, if renovating. You that that but we are seeing Kitara mm. FC, mm. the one maintaining the stadium, and the even after paying. holding the match, mm. there are the people who maintain it. Mm. Mm. So. To me, mm. the percentage mm. wouldn't be bad if mm. they were also injecting back the money. that money. <laughs> uh, another thing is also mm. they failed from the start. Mm. They would have uh, made the analysis before uh, before making the memorandum of understanding mm. and observed keenly. Mm. I don't know where, whether it was just excitement. They, they were, it was out of excitement that yes. we were going to be getting 200000 per mm. match. Mm. Two million. Uh, uh, at, mm. Apparently, they are paying two hundred thousand. Mm, apparently, but right now they want ten percent. Yes, that is around of the money collected. Not two uh, million. Oh, oh, it's too much. There were there were two ideas. Mm. There was two million per match. Mm. There was also ten percent per match. Per match. Ten percent meaning if you collect fifty million, mm. 
they will pay 5 million. 5 million. But 2 million, that one will be constant. constant. If they collect 3 million, 2 <laughs> million goes to the million. council. <laughs> and remain this one. <laughs> yes. It actually sounds somewhat but, uh, strong. But uh, 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 yes. uh, to me, mm. municipality, mm. Uh, students be taken up by 10% or uh, 2 million. No, because even now still, they are benefiting much mm. indirectly. Mm. Because when those people come to play here, mm. they go to bars, they go to lodges, work, they yes, go to yes, shops, yes. Mm. they buy very many things. Mm. Meaning municipality benefits indirectly. Mm. And you may find the money they get indirectly being much mm. more than the 10%. Mm. You see that? It is true. Uh, and also, the uh, of 10%, mm. this team is still growing. Mm. Let us not harass our own people. Mm. Because when you bring in the issue of 10%, mm. and you know maintaining a team mm. is also not easy, a football, mm. a football club. Mm. It's not easy. But when you bring in the issue of 10% now, mm. at this stage, when this team is still struggling to mm. establish its stadium, mm. to pay mm. uh, the, the players, mm. the staff, and also to maintain the stadium, mm. And the that rest that and the percentage rest is too much. The rest, yes. They were they would have at least uh, gone for at least five percent, mm. but ten percent oh. <laughs> is too much. Is but mm. the money collected from the stadium should always go back to maintain. <laughs> to, to, to maintain because what stadium. I see there, yes. what I see at the municipality, mm. I mean at the stadium, mm. always see Ascaris in the evening going to sleep there. I don't mm. know even what they go to guard there. Mm. Hmm? To, mm. They go uh, maybe they guard the. the, the eh? They, it is oh, what is it called? <laughs> Defense. Defense. <laughs> the chain link. Yeah. The doors. What do what do what do they, what they guard there? Yes. Because there is nothing they guard. I saw security mm. people from the municipality going there, mm. but maintenance is nothing was left to the uh, uh, district football association, mm. the foot, the clubs. Mm. So to me, mm. there should always be value for money. Mm. If money is collected, it should be injected back. Mm. We should see value for money by not collecting money. Uh, take it, but you don't maintain mm. because uh, people pay taxes mm. with uh, with the uh, uh, hope of mm. getting what services. Get services yes. We pay taxes to get good services, yes, and that's why some people are hesitating to pay taxes. Need to pay taxes. Mm. People are paying taxes, but you're not seeing no any no service. <laughs> we are going through potholes. Uh, that is through what? actually no, yeah, no that's, service. Mm, that's actually so very very true. Yes, and our, our viewers of Welcome TV once again, I want to appreciate you. The show is called. Uh, Agafire, uh, Agafire Mwiki every single Friday from the hours of 5 to the hours of 6. My name is Urban Brown and I am with uh, Kangao Yeseri, uh, the sign language interpreter and Yosam Guchwaki from New Vision trying to actually get deep, deep, deep into the stories that have actually made rounds all over uh, the week. Right now, we're actually looking at Kitara FC being actually uh, whereby they uh, they got into these agreements. The, the council saying that we need 2 million and the others are saying the money is much, but basing on uh, the the, the perception over over uh, the, uh, my panelists in the house is like this uh, actually it would have been five percent in that this money much as the uh, the, uh, the municipal is requesting for much money there is no implementation where does this money go there is no kind of improvement that is done at the what at the pitch so this money in case it is collected it should also come back and try to renovate other place and look better because people pay taxes hoping better services meanwhile kangao yes just in a in a short uh, in a few minutes i employ just to have your submission towards this that's what's your look uh, on uh, kitara uh, fc being actually told to pay two millions per match they play and ten mm, percent mm, money yes 10% of the money that <laughs> they yes. collect on every match. I mean, if they collect 100,000, it was... <laughs> well, what's your perception? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I, I see some element of uh, intelligence on, on the part of the, of the councillors, actually. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. you see, when, 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 when you're just beginning up a business, mm -hmm. it is wise to start with a small taxation mm. because you have no idea what mm. is going to happen to that business tomorrow. Mm. When Chitara, the reason, when they made a memorandum with the, with the Chitara FC, mm. at that time, remember it, had, it was just coming from, uh, from Big League. Mm. Remember it first qualified for, 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 for the Nationals, mm. uh, but then it fared badly, then it was relegated again. Then again, it, it 
propelled then it came back to the super league eh? mm. but you see when it was beginning we had no idea mm. how it is going to perform yes. that's why even the taxes mm. it was levied upon was small okay. my friend did, <laughs> so did, did, did we realize that the Kitana now was going to become uh, after seeing that uh, <laughs> yes. thing is improving. It so is, it is, there is that kind of greed. <laughs> actually, right now it is not even greed, <laughs> yes. Mr. Moderator. Yes. <laughs> if I was in that council, yes, that was the best thing to do. Mm. We put small taxes on you mm. when we had no idea mm. if you were going to perform poorly or, or well. Oh well. But now that we've realized that you're even number one. <laughs> On the tournament. On the tournament. Uh, yes. And the stadium is always full. Yes. It is attracting supporters from Kiliandongo, mm. from Masindi, from Hoyo, from all over Bunyoro mm. region. Now, I realize it is time to it increase. That knowledge increase. And actually, for me, this is the perfect time to do it. Why? Mm. Because even if we increase or we don't increase, mm. next season, mm. Kitara is going to its own home. Mm. So we better do it now. <laughs> and now most especially that we are even left with the most sensitive games mm. which is going to attract the entire world. Mm. We still have Vipers is coming. Mm. We we okay like, I think even Neck mm. is coming. Yes. We still have even Bull mm. FC. Mm. When would be the best time to increase taxes <laughs> apart from now? Yes. I am team councillors. <laughs> ah, that is it. And actually, the value for is, money uh, should Kangao be also emphasized. Uh, that is uh, his perception. <laughs> saying that, uh, this is the right time. Uh, but Mr. Kangao, this is uh, actually uh, yes. towards your uh, regarding your perception. Yes. Uh, towards uh, what is actually being talked about. Yes. Still now, there are speculations that yes. are not yet put in action. Yes. So uh, regarding uh, you say, yes. uh, don't you see that Chitara is our team of Nyoro and they are our own people? Much as we want money, we also have to favor them. Uh, yeah, it is true. <laughs> yeah. That is very true. Mm. But um, but also as I as I told you that mm. sports is business. Mm. Sometimes the sports as a business can mm. can decide to be so generous. Mm. Once it is generous, mm. I am telling you it gives you generously. Yes. But also <laughs> when you're performing poorly, yes. you can make very serious losses. It That's is. why we don't have we don't have mm. so many people investing in two football clubs. Mm. Many try. But when they get somewhere and they realize losses, yes, losses, yes. losses, they jump out of the thing. Yes. But now that uh, Chitara, for some reason, mm. has managed to be on top of the game, yes. let so it pay the taxes. Right okay, thank you very much. Once again, our viewers, welcome to TV. My name is Urban Brown on Agathirim Week Show this uh, beautiful Friday as we ash into uh, the weekend. Meanwhile, we have actually been seeing uh, a couple we have seen and uh, looked at uh, uh, a couple of uh, stories that have made rounds. And uh, the panelists in the house have actually had different perceptions. So, actually, this Kanga who has gotten his perception, and my honorable, this is uh, the man from New Vision also having his perception. But all are right as long as we do it in the right time and do use the money for the right cause. You know, uh, you know, time is not our best ally. I think uh, let's get into uh, the top story that has actually made round as we ash into the weekend. This is uh, uh, His Excellency Werika Guta Museveni. Uh, reshuffling his cabinet and bringing in more fresh people and also trying to maintain the others. So there's been uh, a number of speculations making grounds in that uh, they're saying like His Excellency Uweru Kaguta Museven has voted his a son or has appointed his son uh, Muhoska Inarugaba has uh, the sorry has the fo uh, the chief uh, force uh, the chief defense force in Uganda. I meaning today he's the boss of all the army. Uh, what is people are trying to make some complaints and dropping some ho uh, loopholes that why could it, could it not be someone else? Why Hoska and Rugaba being the boss of the army? Yeah. Mm. Actually, this Rosafo has been long overdue because mm. we expected it like yesterday, the other day. <laughs> uh, mm. In this Rosafo, what surprised people most was mm. the appointment of Balam. Balam, yes, by Abarugahara. Uh, Mm. The appointment of uh, Mozika to, to CDF, and also yeah. another strange mobilizer from the north, mobilizer for PLOU. Yes, yes. This mm. is called a bar, mm. uh, something. Mm. No, no. Uh, Kenneth Somona has been the press secretary. Mm. I mean, the private secretary. There's another woman. Mm. I, I'm seeing as if I'm seeing as if yes, a bar. Mm. PLOU has been dismantled somehow because mm. these we are the key mobilizers of PLOU. Mm. By now they have been. Uh, 
uh, appointed to very serious positions mm. whereby it is it will be hard to indulge yourself in uh, these mobilizations of PLU campaigns mm. what so that's why that's one is also another thing no. yes <laughs> then another thing is uh, the appointment of uh, Mozika in Rugaba to mm. CDF I myself am also not happy with it you're not happy with it because here yeah, the, the, the chief uh, uh, the CIC is mm. it the, the, the commander in chief mm. is the president has appointed again the son the son to be the CDF it is how it is not eh? so, so because really this is not a monarchy mm. This is not a monarchy. It's also, a have other people. Even <laughs> if you want, even if you are prepared, if you are preparing your son for something. Yes. But you can cover up somewhere. But, but it's not now open tonight. Yes. Now you are opening it now. For <laughs> yeah. For me, uh, you could have at least gone for other people. Mm. Uh, point them CDF because we have, we have other Another competent people. competent people who can act as uh, CDF. CDF. <laughs> yes. To me, that, is that a, one yeah. has left very many questions uh, it is unanswered. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, 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 the Miss uh, Miss uh, Yosam Gutwaki from uh, New Vision. I now move to to my boss, uh, that is Kangao Yeseri. We have seen actually His Excellency Warika Gutam Seven, the President of the Republic of Uganda, reshuffling his cabinet. Seeing that uh, uh, Muhoska in Urugaba being appointed has uh, the CDF uh, of Uganda. Today is the boss of uh, all the army in the country. People are having complaints, but uh, much as the complaints are there or loopholes that people are dropping. Uh, it's like, uh, don't you see? Uh, don't you see that uh, His Excellency Warika Gutam Seven much as has edged up? There's been a standby generator speculations. What this and the other PLOU many complaints. Don't you see that His Excellency Warika Gutam Seven is getting back onto the ballot on 2026 20, elections? No, uh, His Excellency President Hmm. Hmm. Mm. So mm. uh, you see, like, uh, like uh, uh, my fellow from New Vision has said uh, that it's now becoming a monarchy whereby inheritance is now inheriting. It's like a kingdom now. Mm. <laughs> Wife, yes. mother, what? Yes. You see, Why you the see, son? You see, mm. the problem is like this. Mm. This democracy we are practicing mm. was not born here. Mm. These are things we are just doing to please someone. Mm. These are foreign things. So, we, in fact, we call it pseudo democracy. Mm. Yeah, we practice something which looks like some, something foreign mm. to please someone. But in reality, on mm. the ground, mm. we are doing different things. So, for me, it doesn't take me by surprise mm. because what would really be dangerous mm. is for. His Excellency to keep quiet mm. and then suddenly tomorrow to announce that you know what, my son is going perhaps to be the president of this country. Mm. Who is the, that, or the that, pre that, that, that would be so oh, terrible. Yes. The president, who, who, who is he pleasing? <laughs> yes. who, who is he pleasing, the yes. president, in this issue? Well, the Cause, uh, the if president. You at the number of Ugandans, the president yeah. might be pleasing someone. If who is that? The number of Ugandans. Mm. He is trying to practice. He is doing it to please the white people, the Western, the Westerners, not any other thing. Because oh, you see, now yes. Ugandans are, are now briefed. But everyone is disgusted but over what is. Yes. For a person mm. who came into power, yes. not through democracy, mm. but through a gun. And then are you we are we are we getting back? <laughs> excuse me. Are we getting back? Where he brought us from? The other world coming or are we moving forward? Because this is the right time that uh, uh, the country has developed to get. We are getting we are getting away from the other local way of actually getting power. This is the right time. I think we need democracy. You see, moderator. Mm. For me, I will summarize it like this. Yes. <laughs> Africans, yes, we are not used to these things of democracy. Uh -huh. no, so, yeah. no, I'm not agreeing with you. There was the way you, you, yes. you brought it. Yes, For, we, are, we are used to these things of uh, eh? but being kings, yes, inherit, inherit from your father. So, eh? so you want to mean that uh, Uganda so, is not becoming a monarchy? Yes, it is. You, you can see, you can see with your <laughs> naked eyes. So, should we expect hmm? His Excellency Wari Kabutam Seveni tomorrow to come out and appoint? Oh, and declare that my son is now the president of the country. I'm telling you everything is possible, given what we are seeing now. In broad daylight, you have your wife as mm. a minister of education, 
as a president, <laughs> you are the president, <laughs> the son, <laughs> all the influential position is. Yeah. Eh? But we are used it yes. as Africans, we are used to issues of point. being kings yes, and inherit the one. But democracy, yes. Yes. there is no democracy here. Let me finish my point. Mm. We are practicing pseudo democracy. Yes. It is partly democracy on the surface, and? but inside it is not democracy. <laughs> it is a different way of governance. That is why. Mm. Me, I would, I would, I, 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 when I look at all this, me, by the way, I don't even vote. Mm. I think all journalists should be neutral, not so. Mm. But it's also good to give our perspectives, yeah, opinions yes, on how yeah. we see things. Mm. He's just being strategic. Mm. The reason why he allowed, you remember this issue has not just come up. It started mm. in 2013. Mm. And it is General mm. Sejusa mm. who actually brought up this thing. He leaked that information mm. and he branded it there. Um, Moho's project, Moho's project and yes. it brought him problems but now it has taken Ugandans many years to realize it now recently when he allows him to come up with this PLU Patriotic League of Uganda mm. no, this thing, that is being strategic <laughs> he's, he, we are, he's only <laughs> trying to strategizing for what? He's, only <laughs> trying, he's only trying to put people power off we people's are, heads we so that they <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> Vivian. that is a uh, film week right here with, uh, with uh, the panelists in the house trying to actually look into the news that have actually happened to uh, the week you know just allow me move you into a short break and when we do return we shall actually be continuing and summarizing with this particular show just in a short minute stay locked don't move away Welcome back from that show, more commercial break. And uh, before we got into our break, we have actually been trying to look at uh, other reshuffles uh, that His Excellency Yawari Kaguta Museveni made. But uh, as every uh, actually word that you hear from here, it's not uh, for Elkin TV, but it's a perception from different minds, from different ideas. And uh, so, uh, the, on to this uh, very, very topic, we see uh, that. Uh, Still, His Excellency Wari Kaguta uh, appointed our own, that is uh, Balam Barugahara, as the Minister for Children and Youth Affairs. How is it, how, how is the Banyoro feeling outside there? Because uh, it is somehow so smashing. Uh, I know mm. most of the Banyoro are excited, mm. most especially uh, the mm. Masindians. Mm. You know, in the Greater Masindi, yes. in this term, mm. We have not ha been having any minister. Mm. I think... So it's of a pleasure. I myself of being a son of the soil and uh, appointing again son of the soil to be minister, I'm also happy. Mm. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we had him in the other term, but this term... This term here. This term, Masindi didn't yes. get. Greater Masindi, actually. Mm. Including Kiriandonga and Ibulisa. Mm. I'm happy for appointing him. And um, maybe the man is being rewarded mm. for what he has done. Mm. This guy has been mobilizing for NRM. Mm. PLO, you, it is all the same thing. So he deserves the position. Let yeah, him also go and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is. Uh, <laughs> that is. Him also go and enjoy. That, that is. But uh, mm. uh, what I know about this guy is a good mobilizer. Mm. And you know, President Museven, these days the way I'm seeing mm. is not interested in diplomats mm. like those ones of Rugunda, eh? yes. those di diplomatic people. Yes. Or gentle. Yes. Is interested in people in who can people. move things who can the reach in an area, mm. and everyone realizes that someone is around. Is in the in place. Yeah. <laughs> you say our prime minister. Yes. Mm. When it is a machine, everyone will know that is in in, 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 in the machine. Mm. Then uh, this guy, um, uh, Balam. Balam. Mm. Balam has been so much mobilizing the youth. Mm. I think mm. they have put him and in the right pocket because. Mm. He, the state minister for gender in, char in charge of youth in charge of youth, yes. youth affairs mm. Mm. and the, you, you 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 have been seeing what he has been doing mm. uh he normally and targets the youth he's youth. in music mm. uh he's in he's up he's in events mm. those are the things mostly which uh youth are involved in mm. to me if he can help us 
to table that the government. Is Good, yes, uh, Uganda is, is, yes. is a state minister. <laughs> okay, the minister is uh, a national figure. It's a call it's for Uganda. It's now. not only for mm. uh, for Masindi, mm. but for the whole country. Mm. It's to help table policies favoring the use. Good policies uh, support you know these youth mm. and the artists have been and also these people filmmakers mm. have been agitating for something called the copyright mm. copyright yes push those things such that the youth who are too much involved in such sectors mm. can start earning from the their work system. from mm. their sweat mm. those are the things you should do push mm. good policies which are favoring the youth because mm. I, I know mm. he understands better what the youth goes through mm. and even him himself he has mm. been a hustler that guy <laughs> has been a hustler he has, be, he has gone through a lot to achieve mm. what he has. Mm. I know he knows what the youth are going through because he has been a hustler. He mm. should now, after getting this opportunity, table uh, good policies mm. which are going to favor the youth. That we can also use. benefit mm. from him mm. as an individual. Then another thing is, uh, as Masindi, mm. you know, uh, Just bring leaders, mm. Mm, being leaders, mm. they are leaders who are influential. Mm. And there are also those who are not influenced. Mm. So you see someone who is a leader, but he cannot influence anything. He can even inf not influence the president to come mm. to Masind. Mm. But Balam is uh, someone who can influence. Kind of, mm. Masind, we are still lacking a lot. We are lacking mm. the market. Mm. We are lacking a good hospital. Mm. We are lacking Usumid mm. to beautify our town. Mm. Now, I'm praying that this man, being influenced, being known to the big man, mm to prioritize those things and mm. table them there mm. for a blessing mm. such that machine being a traditional district which started 1950s <laughs> we also be a city like other cities mm. we are not because we are lacking those projects but mm. if those projects came here mm. a market a uh, also meet with fire the town a hospital machine will have a, another another face yes. so he should use his position to synergize, mm. influence, mm. advocate, mm. such that we benefit from him. That's my submission. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, that has been the submission of, uh, of uh, Yosam Guchwaki from New Vision, trying to actually say that it was, it's actually been a very beautiful idea, more so for the Masindians and uh, the country at large. We see that this man has passed through a lot and we expect uh, much from him. So, Mr. Kangao Yeseri, once again, I want you to talk about this, the appointing of uh, our own, that is Balam Barugahara. You know, he has been in a number of things and as I was moving on streets, I had people speaking about Balam Barugahara. That is, <laughs> it's now <laughs> becoming war because this guy was used to our casual wares and is now moving to a position of suits will he, how will it be will he be allowed in parliament in such way as oh so meanwhile back to the topic do you see Balam, uh, the appointing of Balam Barugahara being like we use having gotten an advocate for the use because we actually experience big what is your perception towards his uh, uh, appointing no, that was a very perfect appointment actually mm -hmm. because one uh, he's a very highly educated man, mm. a very highly educated man, mm. and two, mm. he's very intelligent. Mm. He knows how to strategize things, mm. and that is as as the Guchwaki mentioned. Mm. That is that is evidence. Mm. It is evident from his being a hustler mm. to now being on top of the game. Mm. He's he's that one person I would want to meet in life. I, I give him supper and so that he gives me the story. Mm -hmm. How did he make it? Because that's what all of us would want. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, it, it's very good because, you know, you ga in Uganda, mm -hmm. the youths mm -hmm. and children mm -hmm. are the biggest population. The, it is true. It is so true. When, you, when you are in a situation like that, mm -hmm. you have to be so careful mm -hmm. who, you, who you entrust to represent them mm. and also to serve them mm. now if you leave them unattended to mm. did you know you can have problems mm. politically economically but also socially mm. now i think your his excellency mm. your m7 to, to to consider Baru, uh, honorable barugahari now he's the honorable mm. to give him that position mm. i feel that was one of the best foresight his excellency had because mm. That man knows what the youths want. Mm. 
he has not just begun mm. from some time ago he has been coming here to Masindi he has been organizing mm. tournaments mm. you hear yeah, yeah. yeah you hear us do Easter yeah. Balam Cup yes, what, what? And, it's still going going. and you can see how many clubs have come you can see how many people have mm. been attending this have been promoted. yes mm. and so w I, I feel he has the audience of the youths mm. in Bunyoro region mm. and also not even Bunyoro alone but also throughout the entire country he has succeeded at least in Bunyoro we have the football but also he has handled the music part of the story have, yes. which cuts across the country so I feel the youths have landed into the right hands <laughs> yeah. okay thank you very much uh, everyone that is actually watching okay TV thanks for catching up the show and whatever you're watching from my name is urban brown on tour the set of our freedom week meanwhile we actually getting to uh, the last moment as we're running down this particular show I want you Kangao yesterday to actually it is a congrat uh, by the way I want to congratulate uh, uh, my our own that is a balam barugahara for having received that appointment it's of a pleasure and Mass Indians are honored. Uh, they're happy with also the excellence, His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta M7, for having made the right decision. We actually honor uh, your appointment. You know, I implore you to just have your last submission for the viewers of Welcome TV since time is not our best ally. Till we oh, meet uh, okay. next Friday. Uh, thank you so much, moderator, mm -hmm. and the LK Media mm -hmm. Management for hosting us mm -hmm. for this big opportunity mm -hmm. uh, to delve in two different issues mm. affecting us as a country the use mm. economic issues mm. among others mm. uh, i'm so glad for this opportunity mm. and next time if given a chance mm. i will come back thank you so thank much thank you very much for actually that uh, beautiful submission and so interesting and we'll be glad to actually see you back on to other uh, screen uh, the studios of lkm tv so honorable kangao yesterday i pray that you have your last submission for the viewers of lkm tv and we sign out of here well thank you so much uh for hosting me and thank you so much for uh, the de deliberations and the thoughts that have really prevailed throughout the entire program. Mm. And also, uh, I thank so much for the management to consider also inviting me. Always, I've always been on this panel. I feel I'm home. And uh, I just have to wish a very good night and a, a very good evening to all the viewers out there. See you next time. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that is uh, that has been Kangao yesterday actually having his last submission for the viewers of Okem TV. My name is Urban Brown once again. The show has been Agafide Mwik. But particularly before I turn down the show, I would implore my producer Daniel. Thanks for actually being uh, being onto the show. And I pray that in case there is any kind of message that has actually come about, you let me read it for other viewers of Okem TV that are stayed connected. We are always appreciate for your contribution contribution and always staying actually tuned on to uh, this uh, particular show. Meanwhile, uh, everyone that has been tu uh, tuned, thanks very much. Ismail, thanks for actually staying tuned in. Hoi Magitara, big up on yourself and thanks for loving the show. Let's catch up next week on Friday on to uh, the particular show. Madina Education Center is somewhere in Muno. Mugenya karo raho, kareli kusikiriza Muno. Owe nkuo nkio nu, no hagenda kutandikira kusoma. Aja chomwana cha yonka. Ara yonka na asoma, kani nkugenda no kusara yaba ndi wasatu. Na waba somera hanu, Madina Education Center. Aba fi. Eee. Madina Education Center ngotuse yo, ulabida dana Madina. Eee. Eyo Middle East. Na yeso meruliri wanonyachibesi. Masindi Cup Road.